Hey guys, Moan Pobero here with another video and this video is all about how a random guy in the street can finance your dream business. So hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this channel, if you don't know, is all about how to buy and grow businesses and have other people operate in those businesses for you so you can build a portfolio of businesses and have the, the time to do other things. Um, yeah, check, check the, some of the other videos if you didn't yet. This is my place to document my journey and share everything I can with you so you guys can learn and now I can get up more deal flow and more potential businesses. I think this channel is pretty new and it's literally just growing and thank you for all the, all the engagements and, and comments from you guys. And I love it. I'm already getting great deal flow from different sources and I'm, I'm really happy by, by what's happening from, from those videos and I hope you continue to enjoy them. So if you're new to the channel, uh, again, this is all about how to buy businesses, how to have someone else operating them for us. So I'm assuming you're going out there as a potential buyer. And if you're new, again, you don't have to use your own capital if you don't have much. You can use other financial institutions or different sources. And I'm going to talk about one of them today. But remember, I'm already assuming that you're out there talking to business owners, receiving financials. And now you're at the point of thinking, OK, how do I finance those deals? So one of the ways to buy businesses is to go out there and take loans. And again, see my other videos on different type of loans you can use. Um, and that's one way to finance your deals, right? You go out there and you take loans. Uh, many banks can help you with that. That's one way where you can bring money to the table. Another way where you can bring funds or, or capital to your deals is just from individuals or private investors. And that's what we're going to focus on today. And when I'm saying investors, that can be anyone. That can be your friends, your family, um, like they say, FFF, friends, family, and fools. Um, they can be every, literally everyone out there who trusts you, who, who, who see potential in your deals. And if you're looking at the deals that I'm talking about in this channel, which usually are businesses doing between one to 10 or 20 million a year in sales, the returns that you can get to private investors are, are unlike anywhere else. They can't get those amazing returns in investing in the stock market. And those returns are really stable because we're going into businesses that many times exist for 10, 20 years and their cash flow is very stable and very consistent. So when you go and look to buy a business, the amount of capital that you can bring from debt loans. So basically you go out there, you take a loan and usually that's going to be part of the acquisition um, cost. So you go out there, take a loan on a debt basis that's going to be part of your payment, right? Another part of the payment can come from the seller or basically seller financing notes or earn outs deals or things like that. So that can be another part. But the third way for you to bring capital is by bringing some kind of equity. That money can come from you or from other private individuals or high net worth individuals that you can bring to the table. Now, the beauty with raising capital from equity investors is that you don't need to pay a certain a consistent amount on a regular basis as you pay for a loan. So basically equity investors share the risk of the deal with you as the potential buyer, which is a positive for you because they're part of the deal. And many times they're not bringing just their capital. You can bring people with experience in the business that you're working on and they can bring much more than just capital. They can bring access to, to basically their network and their contacts and their experience, and they can help you a lot with deals. Now, some of you might say, uh, you as a potential buyer, if you don't put the money, you don't have risk. Well, you need to always think about the fact that you have a risk because you put in the time, you, you went out there, you looked for the deal, you negotiated the deal, you came up with a structure and terms that you accept and the seller accept. So all that work is, is a lot of time that you need to value as well. If you, you, even if you don't bring capital, always value those things that you bring to the table. Now, if you as a potential buyer bring in investors, many times, they'll basically ask you that you won't take out to yourself or distribute to yourself significant amount of payments before they're getting paid their part of the deal. And of course, then both of you share the ownership of the business and all the benefits that comes with that. So yeah, remember that if you're looking to buy a business and you don't have much capital to bring from home, you always want to build your network with potential investors or individuals that can help you bring money to the table because literally that difference alone, if you have access to private individuals with capital, can be the difference between you closing lots of deals and you just really looking for certain opportunities to close basically just with loans from banks and things like that. Now, it's really important. Remember that when you're going to talk to potential investors, they're going to ask you lots of questions. You need to know your deal like to be so uh, into in depth in the deal. You need to know everything about it because they're going to put their own money that they worked so hard for it and they need to 
make sure that you know what you're doing. So before you go and pitch your deal to any investor, make sure you really, really know your deal. They're going to ask you a lot of questions about the business, about the structure, about the terms of the deal, about their returns and terms and all that things. You need to know everything, guys. Remember, it's so crucial when you go and talk to potential investor. If you're not going to go there prepared, you can miss that one opportunity to have that capital to buy your dream business. And remember, when you're going to potentially raise capital from individuals, you want to look as professional as possible. Even if those are people that you know, you go and, and, and really have a good first impression by also bringing other partners to your deal. So there are many things that you can do, like bringing people to your deal and give them equity for free just for their experience and track record. Many times that alone can be the difference between you being able to raise capital or not. Because when you sell not just yourself, but people in your deal that had that experience, that know what they're doing, and you part of their team now, you're going to look so much better because you basically borrowed their track record just by bringing them to your deal. And remember, if those are people that you don't know, you don't need to sell just your deal, you need to sell for yourself. They, many times people invest money in the people that they know, like, and trust. So many times just selling more yourself than just your deal. And it, it's really, really important that you bring everything you have into the table. So yeah, remember, every time when you look into a business and you're about to make an offer, make sure you have the funds to finance that deal. Don't just make random offers or on deals, assuming and hoping for the best. You wanna have investors aligned and ready to put money. You wanna have banks and financial institutions ready to put in the deal, money into the deal. And you wanna have all those things behind you. So when you're gonna make an offer, you know that you can back it up with capital and you can close the deal as soon as someone saying uh, basically a yes to your offers. And remember, you don't need much capital to buy really nice businesses. So many times $100,000 from equity investors can help you buy literally a million dollar business. And to get to $100,000 in capital that you raise, many times isn't that hard. Everyone around you have people that you know, and even if they don't have much capital to invest, I'm sure all of you can find at least 10 people that know, like, and trust you, and you can potentially raise $10,000 from each, and that can bring you $100,000 that you can bring into the table as an equity kick. And the rest of it you can just raise from banks and institutions as a debt loan and if, if there's a missing part of the deal you can always also get some kind of seller financing part to the deal as well when you bring all that to the table you can buy really really nice businesses so yeah that's it for today um, like i said you can literally go out there and finance your dream business with individuals and people that you know and, and it's worth putting yourself out there and talk to them and really get to a point where you know your deal you sell yourself well and close as many deals as you can. So I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you didn't yet. Like this video to help me grow and, and share the channel with your friends. And see in the description below all the links to the free Business Buying Mastermind. See the survey below because I need help and ideas for videos. So definitely let me know and I'll create personalized, personalized videos for you. So see the description below and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.